steel rocker which is in the best stainless. Cast stainless and then the true billet or the example of it is the billet arm so you have the yeah. option um, in, in this rocker kit for both yeah we're also offering now a uh, our own key lifter okay so that's what the bronze key bushings and lifters are all about say that again the bronze key uh, it's a key lifter what does that mean um, so in so in, in it, instead of having a uh, a link bar yeah, you know, yeah. it, it, it runs in a key. Oh, I see. So, it. Yeah, so the yeah. lifter body has a key, and there's a groove in the bushing to keep With it alive. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the advantage of that is just less weight? Um, less weight, um, more durable setup, and then it also gives the engine builder or machinist a, the freedom to move that stuff around if you're wanting to spread the lifter bores move things around, chain lifter bank angle. Now you don't have to contend with a link, uh, link bar. Each one is actually truly okay. independent. Anything else special on here? Uh, dry sump or anything like that? Uh, no, or, uh, eventually? it's not going to be dry sump. Oh, it's not, um, no? No, just okay. the tie rods, billet crank, 60 millimeter cam, yeah. and uh, we are doing 60 millimeter roller cam bearing set up there. You really oh, yeah? Can't see okay. anything. Yeah. Um, but that's what's in there, and then the, that, uh, and then the new shaft rocker set up. It frees up a little horsepower, right? It's less. Yeah, less it, well, it helps the oiling system as much as anything because you don't have to pressure feed oil a roller bearing. You're actually shutting off the whole supply. Okay. The, the roller bearing actually. Uh, blocks off the whole supply that would be going to a battery style camera. And do you guys manufacture these titanium rods then? Yes. You do? Yeah. Okay. They're built in house in Southern California. And the uh, the crank, is that a, a billet piece or it forged? Billet. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It is okay. a billet. 
started as a big round chunk. Yeah, and I also noticed that it's got counter rates on every single uh, yes, throw. Because usually most ready. V8s, they don't have, they have like a little, little mini ones here. Or know? none. Or none. Yeah. 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 No, that, that's actually so. an option is to have it, you know, a fully counterweighted center counterweight crank. Yeah. You got to do a little additional machine work on the block to clear it, but um, definitely uh, a much more stable crank yet for high horsepower, high cylinder pressures, and high RPM. Okay. Any other top of the line stuff you guys got here you can show me? Um, well, I mean, yeah. Showcase uh, your stand. Lifters, yeah, yeah, yeah well, we're at it. The rocker stands. I mean, that's really the, the newest, the new products are the keyed lifter and the new style. Okay. Uh, tell, tell me about these shaft rockers then. What, we'll how come around here. All right, yeah. yeah. Right, well. Do you have the titanium rods on display here? Uh, there are some titanium rods here. Um, Yes, sir. Right on. ...that we're doing. Okay. Uh, the, the real ad advantage of the new design is trying to get away from having offset rockers and, and really improve on geometry, keep everything as coplanar as possible, minimize pushrod angles. And, uh, and, and to accomplish that, you know, we have to rotate the, the rocker on the stand. Okay. Um, and, 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 you know, the other option to that in the past, you saw a lot of offset rockers where the shafts would be in line, you know. Yeah. So. so as of right now, this is just a prototype stage, though. It looks like yeah, the, you know, it'll be in yeah. production in the next month, you know. So, yeah, we just uh, model it, um, prototype it, 3D print, and then uh, we can test it for fit and function and, and geometry and then put it into production at steel or okay. aluminum. So it looks a lot stiffer than when it's just one, sure? one piece. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah, why, why are these stainless then, as opposed to aluminum? Uh, these are actually not stainless. Oh, those aren't stainless. These, yeah, are, okay. uh, um, these are a billet steel, you know, four hundred thirty billet steel. Uh, these are your stainless. So you can see the appearance difference. These are your uh, best yeah. cast stainless uh, casting, and then that's the billet. But well, well, why stainless though? Because do you know why? He's our tech editor for a muscle. He's the man. He's the man. Yeah. He'll walk through with Doug and you on all of stuff. Okay. When you're ready. Oh, very good. Okay. But well, why stainless? Because I think a stainless is something that's uh, rust preventative, but uh, Just strength inside and, here and, and, and significantly more durable than your aluminum. Yeah. Okay. And this is a different design than this. These are individually bolted. Oh, this is a that's a well, big block head. Well, this is a different. No, this is yeah. actually a, a cannon valve Edelbrock LSR head. Oh, this okay. Is, uh, this is your. Uh, this is a CID LS7 style head. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for your time, man. Yes, you look like a busy dude. So yeah, yeah you. you better get to uh, other stuff.